Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hi, Calvary. Amber here with your word for the day. Have you ever been in a time when you just felt weary, overwhelmed, and were desperately crying out to God to hear from Him and Him to answer you? That is the place David was in when he wrote Psalm 143. And we're going to look at the first six verses today, but I highly encourage you to read the entire psalm for yourself um, as you will get a lot out of it and learn and hear from God. So we're going to read the first two verses right now. It says, Hear my prayer, O Lord. Give ear to my pleas for mercy. In your faithfulness answer me, in your righteousness. Enter not into judgment with your servant, for no one living is righteous before you. David here is crying out to God for mercy. He is saying that no one is righteous before God. He understood that he was a sinner, desperately in need of God's mercy and grace, and was crying out to God, asking to experience that mercy from God. And this is so important for us to do in our life um, and to grasp how important this is for us to understand the weight of our sin and to confess that before God because it's so easy for pride to creep into our lives and to tell us that we're good. How many times have you heard people say, oh, they're a good person, or people are born good, or I'm good. Guess what? I am not good. You are not good. Only God alone is good. This is where the Pharisees were at when Jesus came. They thought they were good and didn't need what Jesus was offering his grace and mercy and forgiveness. They missed out on experiencing God's goodness and his grace and his love because they thought they were good enough on their own. And so we need to confront our sin and understand how sinful and wicked we are so that we can experience the vastness of God's grace and mercy and love which he wants to lavish on us So confront your sin, confess it to God and ask him for his mercy because he wants to give it to you and overwhelm you with his grace and mercy and love. He wants you to experience his amazing grace. So confess your sin and ask for mercy like David did. And then picking up in verse three, he says, for the enemy has pursued my soul. He has crushed my life to the ground. He has made me sit in darkness like those long dead. Therefore, my spirit faints within me. My heart within me is appalled. I remember the days of old. I meditate on all that you have done. I ponder the work of your hands. I stretch out my hands to you. My soul thirsts for you like a parched land. It says that David's spirit was faint within him. That means he was at the end of his strength. He was in a time where he was weary and overwhelmed. And I feel like we've all been in a place, in a season of weariness, whether that's we're weary because of our own sin and living in rebellion against God, or whether that's a weariness of torn relationships or issues with a job, or maybe it's weariness because of pain or suffering or sickness or just brokenness of life. And we have options when we're in those places of weariness. We can sit in it and just stay there and do nothing about it. We can complain, be angry at God, or we can choose to do what David did and cry out to God. See, it says that he remembered the days of old. He meditated on all the works that God had done. And see, God is working in the midst of our life right now, whether we can feel it or not. God loves us, but sometimes we have to wait for his timing because his timing is perfect and his plan for our life is for our good and his glory. And so in those times of weariness and waiting, remember who God is. Remember his promises. Remember how he has worked mightily in the past and think about his goodness, his grace, his love. And then it says that his soul thirsts for God like a parched land. 
we should understand parched lands. We live in a desert. The Mojave Desert is a very parched land, desperately in need of water. That's how we should be craving and desiring God in our life. Do we cry out for Him desperately to satisfy us and comfort us like a parched land? Sometimes our soul feels that way and we got, need God to rain down and work in our life. And so in those times of weariness, in those times when you feel overwhelmed, remember who God is and how mighty He has worked and cry out desperately to Him and let Him satisfy you, let Him strengthen you, and remember that He loves you more than you could possibly understand. And He wants to lavish you with His grace and mercy. So today, cry out to God and experiences His love and grace for you. Have a great day.